Hi, my amazing Disney friends. It's Jess from Disney Jess, and I have quite the pin trading haul here for you guys. So I have six pin trades here. Most of these are multiple trades. I'm just super excited about it. So I hadn't been trading in quite a while, so I wanted to kind of try and finish up some collections that I was working on. And that's mostly what this is. I will pull over what part of those collections I have and we'll open these kind of one by one. There is okay, this first one is from a trader called June and this is the package that has addresses on both sides. So I wanna be very careful not to show her address. <laughs> Look at all that cuteness. So just to give you an idea, these are some of the pin collections I'm gonna be working on. I can't remember if the masks are in this group or not, but they might be. Um, so let's just, oh, I love this. I wonder if she punched these herself. That is so, so cute. Oh, and these are happy planner stickers, I'm pretty sure. So adorable. I love planner stickers, so that's a nice addition. Plus the Mickey sticker is so cute. I love this one. <laughs> this is also happy planner. Uh, do all things with kindness. This is one of my favorite boxes, actually. I've used all the ones that I have in my own books, so I am excited to have another one. If you guys don't know, I do have a planning channel as well. I'll link it up above for you guys, but so, so cute. Okay, set those aside. And then cute little note here. Oh, I love the ice cream. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh, I ripped it. Okay, maybe. Hold on, hold on. Okay, there we go. Oh, how adorable is that? I feel like this is a person who makes their own stuff. Um, so just let me read this to you. It says, Jess, thanks so much for the trade. I really appreciate it. Your fellow Disney fan, June. So cute. Okay, and now I did look up history on these two pins to share with you guys. I was able to do that because I had pictures of the pens and it, it took me a little bit, but I did find all the history I wanted to share with you on those ones. But this is mainly a bell trade. So the first two here are lounge fly pens. This is from a box. I think you guys can still get this one. So it's the teapots and the cups. And I'm not sure, they might both come in the same box. I haven't opened any of those, so I'm not positive. But I think teapots and cups are adorable. And so I really wanted the bell ones. And I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get any of the boxes. So being able to trade for them was really fun. This may be a collection that I try to get all of. I'm not positive yet, but I really, really like them. So I'm going to start with Cogsworth. I love that you have kind of that full round mug of him. He looks so happy in this picture. I just think it's adorable. I love the little saucer behind him and everything. Just an adorable pin. And then here is Belle's ballroom dress as the teapot, which I think is adorable as well. I love the addition of the roses and the hearts at the top. So, so cute. I just think it's a beautiful design. So I'm super happy to have that. So I'm gonna set those to the side. These are also bell pens. All right, these ones are ones that I had seen around a while ago and I'd always kind of wanted both of them, but didn't think I'd ever be able to trade for them. But luckily I had some pens that they were after and it was a really fun trade. So let me see here. And I'll be honest, sometimes when I trade, like I'll know of a pen's existence, but I'll have no idea on the value. So you kind of have to go back and forth a little bit on that. And I never do a trade with the intention of shortchanging anyone or anything like that. I just honestly don't always know the value. So the first one, and I don't think that's this original backer card from the information I was able to find online, but I love that it's preserved like this. So it is the bell flag here. It says 1991 because that's the year bell came out. This is actually from a mystery set, if my information is right, that came out, I think 2009 is what it said. And let's see if that's right. Um, 
Yes, it says 2009 here. So I, the mystery set had all of the, these different characters and it actually had some really unique characters in it. So you had things like Kermit was in there. Um, who else? Lightning McQueen, Chernabog, Cinderella, Pluto. And then you had like Mickey, Minnie and that kind of thing. And the, the pens were different edition size. So you had some at the 1000 um, edition size. You had some at the 500 and some at that 250 mark. Bell is in the middle at the 500 mark. So. Um, so it's the limited edition of 500. So that matches my information. So I'm super happy about that. And I just think it's a really cool pin. Not 100% perfect. There's a little scratch here, but that's to be expected with an older pen. I mean, it's from 2009. I'm not upset about that at all. And I just think it's really fun. So that is the bell flag. And then there was this one. So this is, a, this is a kind of on my grail list because I'd seen it around. I love Christmas pins. I love Beauty and the Beast pins. And this is kind of both. Now, I don't have a ton of information on this one, but it is also from 2009, which makes me wonder if this trader actually had purchased them uh, when they came out. And as you can see, it's an LE 250. I don't know, again, if this is the correct backing card, but it is this beautiful bell of bell, <laughs> which I think is amazing. And she's kind of hanging up the snowflake. I love her expression. I love the glitter bow. I just think it's amazing. And here's your back. So this is limited edition of 250. Oh, that's interesting that this one has the back stamp, but this one does not. I don't know if it's supposed to, but that is an interesting fact. And so it says official pin trading up there and just really cute. I'm going to have to look that one up and see which backing it's supposed to have because I'm not sure. It may be a difference of, I believe this was a Disney shopping pin and I don't know if the backs matched at the time for both shopping and park pins, but it was part of a series. I think they called it the Christmas glitter ribbon series, or maybe that's what pin picks called it. I'm not really sure, but I just think it's a gorgeous pin and I'm so happy to add it to my Beauty and the Beast collection. So, so cute. So, okay. That's my trade from June, which I'm so pleased with. Thank you, June. I appreciate it so much. So let's move this, this stuff out of the way. Okay, I'm going to make a stack over there and then let's do trying to think here. Are there any of these other ones? I should open this one off camera as well, like the packaging. So yep, that's, that's the top. I just cut it off. <laughs> so I'm just going to have the edge of it in here because it does have, again, addresses on both sides. And I think this was a really big great trade, like possibly the biggest trade I've ever, ever done. So this was with an individual named Patrick, who was super, super sweet and really fun to trade with. Let me zoom out just a little bit here. So Patrick made my day. <laughs> Without a doubt, 100% made my day. So you guys saw me open these ones on the channel and I haven't been able to get any other ones, but he had a ton. And oh my gosh, I am... Okay, so, and he also had some of this set, which I had from forever ago, and just, it's been sitting there, I haven't finished it, I really should, so let's go. Okay, these first two are just really cute. We had so many pens that we wanted to trade, it was amazing. So, first we have, this is from the, I think it was the pen event, was it last year? the all of one family one. And I think these are the mystery boxes. So I don't know what language this is down here. I think it says all one family. Maybe it's French because Beauty and the Beast take place in France, but I am not a linguistics expert. Yes, all one family. 
there we go. Or one family, I guess. And I don't... Oh, it's limited release. There's where it is. So just a limited release pin just for the event. I think it's amazing. Great addition to my Beauty and the Beast collection. Okay, and now here is another pin and this set. This was a mystery set. I actually have the box somewhere. I can't remember how many pins are in it, but it is quite a large collection. And this is Belle's father with his contraption. Super cute. So we'll add him on there. My phone keeps on buzzing. Hold on. Let me find it and find out if it's important. Okay, just kids. I had told them what the dinner plan was so that they can all decide what they're doing tonight and we can do things. So these are Peter Pan pens. So again, from the all one family. So it says friends and family. And this is all the lost boys. I think it's adorable. Just, oh my gosh, that glitter edge. So, so cute. So we have that one. Okay, and here is our first addition to this pen set up here. I may have to take it off to kind of try and put things in order, but this is Tinkerbell. Oh, she has a little something on her. Hold on. Nothing harmful. <laughs> Just a little smut. So there is Tinkerbell. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll have to look at the image to put these in the right order, I think. But So I'm just going to lay them out right here. Okay, next. And I think I have most of the puzzle now. So next we have Hook and the Mermaids. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. So would Hook go here maybe? Not really sure but maybe he's there and then maybe Peter's here and then Wendy oh, I'm not sure but then there's also the mermaids oh my gosh they're so cute the detail on them is kind of simplistic but the movie's artwork is also very simplistic so I think that goes so you have three there. No redhead on this image. Okay, our next trade. We have another two here. Okay, this is the other set of Lost Boys. And there's Peter. Ooh, so excited about Peter. Okay, whose arm do I have if it's not Peter's? Is it Peter's? Okay, hold on. There's Peter. Oh, it is Peter's. Okay, so I think I pull these ones off. Because I'm pretty sure Hook was up in the corner. I want to say TikTok Croc is down here, but I'm not positive. And then we have Peter. Oh, got to go up a little bit. And I think the darling parents are at the very end. So, and then we'll have Wendy. And then are the darling parents right after Wendy? Maybe. Oh, um, maybe it's the mermaids? No, I think it's the mermaids. And then the darling family, yeah. My board's not quite big enough. <laughs> At least right here. So, okay. And then the Lost Boys, are they here? Let's see. And then I think this one, this set of Lost Boys will be on this side. So it would go like that. I mean, look at how much closer that is. Oh my gosh. So I know I need TikTok Croc. I need to look up what other ones I have. Oh, and these are other, or two more for this set. I mean, seriously, could it have been a better trade? <laughs> so I will insert a picture of this complete set because I don't remember. I think I have most of it. I might be missing one pin at this point. So we have 
Luffy. Luffy? Luffy. <laughs> and Gaston's kind of fountain, because this was for the opening of Fantasyland. So we have that one there. And then we have, of course, Gaston in front of the Gaston's Tavern. So fun. Okay. I am so excited, guys. Oh my gosh. So that was from Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. You're amazing. And we're so, so helpful in helping me complete some of these or get closer to completing these. <laughs> okay, next we have this one, which I can open here. So we're just gonna snip off the end. Trying to be very, very careful. <laughs> A little too careful. There we go. It's always so fun to see what people put along. I was kind of out of additional things, so I didn't include very much in my traders. Sorry. These are cool though. I don't think I've ever seen this sticker before. And Stitch, adorable. Um, it says Jess, or Jessica, whatever. Thanks so much for trading. Hope you enjoy your new pens, Kelly. I so will, Kelly. Thank you. Okay. Oh, these are, um, so I really like the Ds. And I wanted to see if I could complete them, but they were a Disneyland release and not a Disney World release for these are hidden Mickey pens. So um, let's start with this one. Maybe I'll just cut it here. That might be easier. <laughs> so, and I think this person had most of the D's. So we have Maleficent. Ooh. Hold on. Almost got it. <laughs> there we go. So now I have Alice and Maleficent there. I just love the Disneyland D. It's so much better than the Disney World one. Sorry, Disney World. Okay, these two are not that. Maybe I only got the one. There is another trade in here that has more. So I'm going to set my, my board off to the side here. Okay, so this one, I did, I think I traded a lot for Beauty and the Beast stuff. Oh, this is more to this series, this fantasy land series. And this is inside Gaston's Tavern, the three, uh, the triplets. I don't remember their names off the top of my head. I know they have names, but I think they're super cute as well. So I have that one. Oh, and this one was a really fun one. This might have been from the all one. I didn't look up the history on it. But I know they had some film strip pens in the All One family. I've been kind of out of the pen trading universe for the last couple of years. I really want to say, like, I've been loosely there, but not really with being sick. But it is Hook and Smeed. Look at how cute they are. And I love the film strip elements. Yes, All One family. So this is probably a limited release. I think this was also maybe a mystery box. But super cute. Ooh. There's a roughness on the edge. That's sad. I've been noticing a lot more of that type of thing. It's just been more prevalent, I feel like. Or maybe I just have really bad luck. I don't know. And then we have this pen, which is a Sword in the Stone pen, which we all know I love. So... It is the transformation at Twilight Pen. So fun. I love the moon that they did on these, how opalescent it is. But so you have Merlin as the mouse down here and Mim as the elephant. And then you switch it because she trans it was like a transformation war. And so she switches to the snake to eat the mouse and he runs away. I think he, oh gosh, I don't remember. Was it a worm next? It might have been. But I just think it's a really fun spinner and just very, very cool. 
And these, were they limited edition? I think they were. We'll see if I can find it on here. Oh, yes, limited edition of 5,000. So really cool spinner pen there. Okay, let's find another unopened package. Let's go with this one. This is, I believe, a single trade. I think it's the only one that has a single trade. <laughs> That's adorable. I love that she did that. So this trade is from Deb. I love it when people are able to reuse part of packaging and things like that to um, ensure that the pens are safe. Oh, this one's so big. Oh, this is another collection that I'm working on. So this is the Disney Princesses. Hold on. And it's so big. Oh my gosh. These are a mystery pen set. And hold on, let me grab that board. Sorry, took me a minute. <laughs> But that is from this collection here. They were, are, I'm pretty sure you can still get these, mystery sets in the park. And I know Rapunzel is one of the few that I'm missing. Now, can I remember which other ones? I mean, look at how big she is comparatively. That is just amazing to me. So just a really nice pen. I love that her hair and the lantern behind her kind of makes that D. I think that's a fun kind of, hidden aspect. I don't know if it was intentional or not, but I think it's cool. So there is Rapunzel. Okay. Um, I've kind of lost track of how many we've opened. So I think I have two more. This one is this one is from Priscilla, I think that's how you say her name. If I ever butcher someone's name, I'm so sorry. I'm really bad with pronunciations and things like that. It comes from my dyslexia. I didn't know that was a thing until recently. Ooh, this one's kind of stuck in here. Hold on. It's coming. Okay. To say it was jam-packed in there is an understatement. <laughs> Okay, um, oh, I didn't grab this board either, did I? I'll have to grab that. It says, thank you for the trade, Jess. Priscilla, happy trading. Such a cute little rabbit, love it. Okay, I will grab another board, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, here is another collection I have been working on. Um, I was working on this when I got sick and was very close to finishing it. So I think this might be the last two that I need in this collection. Oh, besides the chase. I don't have the, the chase or the unfilled that goes here. But we have Flower and Thumper. These are also hidden Mickeys. Super fun. So I can put those in. And then we have Simba and Timon. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, wait. And I think they go over here. So I'm going to have to look and see who I'm missing. Because I feel like I might be missing one other set. But maybe not. So we'll have to look that up. And definitely looking for the unfilled from Disney World. Which I don't remember who that is. In addition to that, I did get the Magic in the Stars Ariel pen. This was a pen that was released in 2021. They were limited edition. And we have Ariel on the side. And then this is kind of a constellation up there of Ariel. I think it's supposed to be Ariel. And, or maybe it's the Zodiac sign. I can't quite remember. But very fun pen. Has a gem there. But I love Ariel, so this will be a great addition to my Ariel collection. And these were limited edition. This one is 4,000. So nice addition size. Not so small, it's like impossible to get. 
but a little better than 5,000. <laughs> this is another set I'm working on. So if you have um, Small World, I think I have the castle. I just haven't opened it. Okay. And then this. Aha! These are my D's. <laughs> and my Winnie the Pooh, which I, I think are really cute quotes. I actually read Winnie the Pooh as an adult. It's stuck, guys. <laughs> as an adult, and was like, this is the best. Everyone should re read Winnie the Pooh. Okay, so let's go with the lunchbox first. This is, I think it, it's one of the small bags that you can get at Disney. Um, what are those ones called? See, my memory isn't what it used to be. Oh, Magical Mystery Pens, I think is what it is. And it's probably series 20, I want to say. Could be 19, but somewhere in there. And they're all lunchboxes. Not a super big fan of the lunchboxes, but I did want Cogsworth. So that's what this is. These are really fun pens. They're like seven, eight bucks in the park. So a cheap pen, but really cute. They make great traders. This one has, like, since it came out, I've been like, oh, I love that pen. So this is Mary Poppins. And so you have the sheet music on the front. You have the penguins and the butterflies. I love the cutout. And then you open it because it's a hinge pen. And you have the toy room. So, so fun. So this is limited edition of 800 and it is a Disney theme park cast exclusive. And it says a spoonful of sugar. I'm guessing that is, yes, a spoonful of sugar is the sheet music there. So I think this is going to be wonderful for, for my Mary Poppins collection. It is a harder collection to get pins for because it's just not a ton out there. So I'm super excited about that. Okay, now for Hidden Mickeys. I love my Hidden Mickeys. <laughs> Back to this board, right? So I'm not sure, but I might have the full collection now of the D's. I need to look that up. But before we get into that, let's do these. So I already had summer, is it summer yet? And laugh till your tummy hurts. And then this one is time flies with piglet, which I think is adorable. And big hearts deserve, um, big hearts deserve big hugs with Pooh and Eeyore. I think that's adorable too. I just love the sayings on them. Like I don't collect Pooh, but it's the sayings along with Pooh that really attracted me with this one. Okay, now to find, maybe I take these off. And we'll do the D's down here. If I've completed it, it can go into my book. That's kind of my rule. <laughs> so I might be able to move one into a book, which will be super exciting for me. Okay, so we have Alice and Maleficent. And now we have Winnie the Pooh. And we have Mickey as Jack Sparrow. I love Jack Sparrow. Johnny Depp is the best. He's just an amazing actor. We have the Tiki Room. Actually, so in when I was a teenager, I was like, the Tiki Room is so lame. <laughs> but as I've gotten older, it's really grown on me. And I love the Tiki Room. It's a great little show. And it's just super cute. And there's such great music. So, yes, Tiki Room. And then, of course, we had to have Peter Pan, which is another great pen. I just love his stamps here. Yeah, he's falling over. And then we have Cheshire. Such a cool pen. Um, which will go there. <laughs> so I'm going to have to look it up. I'll insert it here. I think this might be the full collection, which would be really fun. Okay. And I think I have one more to open here. 
underneath all of my crazy, which is this one. This one is from Mirandi, Miranda, I think one of those. If I mispronounced your name, I'm sorry. I try really hard, but sometimes I just, when I just see a name, it doesn't comprehend in my brain. I don't know why. Oh, look at those fun stickers. Okay, that's everything. Okay, we're gonna start with a little, that's cute. Thanks for the trade, throwing in an extra Tinkerbell since you like her, Miranda. Oh, that is incredibly sweet. Okay, so, and I think this might have been the person who, when we were talking back and forth, I found out that she had booked the Contemporary Hotel off of one of my videos and it was just so cool to see that it had helped somebody and she loved it as much as I did and it was such a great experience for her as well. I'll link that video up above in case you guys want to see it. Oh and there's Mickey. Oh so cute. Okay so I'm gonna start with this one. So the flower pins from last year, like I've been on the fence with them. I have some of them, like I picked them up when I was down there kind of thing, but I didn't buy any otherwise. And here is Rapunzel. So I think I want to finish finding all the flowers. I think I've decided that because they are such beautiful and slightly unusual pins. I just think they're really cool in the way that they spin open and just the beauty of all the flowers. So these were limited edition pens and it's still on its backing card, which is so nice of her. So we can spin it open again. <laughs> so we have Rapunzel here and we have that iconic flower. I don't know, did they ever give the flower a name other than it was from the sun? I, I don't remember it having a name and you have a small magnet here to keep the flower closed. Rapunzel is right there. And I want to say these are a limited edition of 5,000, but I could be wrong. It seems like most things these days are 5,000. So let's see here. 4,000. Close. So close. I do wonder if, because I feel like I'm seeing a lot of pens end up at the outlets recently, if they're going to cut down on those edition sizes because of that. Okay, and this is a Christmas pen. I love Christmas pens. Oh. So I'm, so I'm not sure if this was Loungefly or a different one. I had missed that these came out. And so they were like these mantle pens. Oh, it's so pretty. So you have the fireplace, you have Lumiere over here, Mrs. Potts and Chip. You have the rose on the mantle with all the books the stockings and the rose garland. I just thought they were really pretty. I think these are just open edition pens. They have a recycle print. I'm gonna have to, like I said, I've been out of the trade for quite a while, so I don't know whose icon that is, but I think they're really nicely made pens. Maybe these are pink a la mode. Is that the right? Cause I, they have some really amazing pens over there. I have a bunch on my, they're like in my shopping cart, but my bank says I can't check out yet. <laughs> okay, and then, oh my gosh, that is, oh my gosh. So we traded for this one and I did, it was really hard to find information on this one. Cause I wanted to look it up. I was trying to figure out if it was a fair trade cause I didn't want to dip her in any way. And I know that, you know, this was a limited edition pen. It is a Disneyland resort pen from Valentine's day, 2007. And it is limited edition of a thousand. So there was a series of these that were released and pen picks. Like if you put in Peter or Tinkerbell, Valentine's 2007, you will not find this pen. <laughs> um, I think I ended up, was it Hearts? 
in 2007, something like that, to be able to finally find it on Pimpix. And I wrote down the information because I knew I would forget. So hold on. So it is a 2007 pin, obviously, Disneyland release. Here are some of the other people in this collection. You have Mickey and Minnie, which I would love to be able to find. You have Sleeping Beauty, Lady and the Tramp, Pluto and Fifi, um, Snow White. I think that was all the ones I was able to find. But it is, like I said, I just couldn't find as much information on it. But I think it's a beautiful design. I love all the hearts and just the the love from Tinkerbell because she loves Peter so unconditionally. Such a sweet pen. And then, so I absolutely know nothing about this pen. <laughs> so this is from 2002. So definitely an older pen. I love especially older Tinkerbell pens. And it is, so they They've done this in the past with several different characters where you have like the month here. So you have the calendar for that month and you have Tinkerbell on the side. She's kind of peeking around and she has this cute little blink. Oh my gosh. So it looks like it was probably an open edition pen because I don't see any other markings here on the back. But oh, it must be a really old one because there's no pen trading logo. That is interesting. So I'll have to look up some information on this one and see, just because I love seeing the history of when pens came out. Well, obviously it's really old. It's 2002. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I started trading. And, well, I started collecting and it was just like a random hen here or there. Was it 2000? Well, I got a pen in 2000, I think. 2000, 2001, somewhere in there. And then I got another one like three years later or something because I didn't really take pictures at Disney. Pens are my way of remembering my trips. And so I always buy one that is very special to the time that I go. Of course, now it's kind of spiraled, but you know, <laughs> anyhow. So I think that is all of my pen veil. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, I'll see you guys real soon.